Well, Jill Simonian is here to ease the transition of getting back to work after staying at home with the kids. Yes, it's always a tough thing, and I know for me, you've lived this, you're living this, <laughs> I'm living this. I am so passionate about this right now because, you know, we're right in it. And for me, going back to work was always in the back of my mind, but I'm here to give tips for women who didn't necessarily plan to go back to work right away and maybe five, 10, 15 years have gone by and the kids are in school now and they think, hey, you know what? I wanna go back to work. So I'm here to give tips. Okay? Ooh. Yeah. Where do okay. they start? Yes. Where do we start? Okay, the yeah. first thing, and this is a big thing, don't fall off the radar, but if you have fallen off the radar, get back on the radar to rebuild your contacts go on I mean you know it's silly to say go online right now but LinkedIn Facebook mm -hmm, Twitter connect true. with the yeah. people that are in the industry that you either you know came from or want to get into now that you're returning to work for me I mean you know obviously working on TV I made sure I was on Twitter Facebook reconnecting with the people I used to work with take 15 minutes a day to revisit your old contacts and send a little note that says, hey, how you doing? How, you know, are there any openings? Just check in with people, okay. set aside 15 minutes a day to really capitalize on the contacts you have and cultivate new ones. How is it important to go to those mom fairs that it they is. have all well, that, over the country? Well, that's the thing. I know recently, a couple weeks ago, I was involved for, you know, on the ground level with LA's first mom fair, and it was essentially a job fair focused towards getting moms in the workplace. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, it's it's one of those things where, you know, it requires, you always want to be supported by women who are trying to do the same thing as mm -hmm. you. But one of the things that mom fair did was also, um, you know, it also gave insight to the different industries that are available just because you worked in a certain industry before doesn't necessarily mean that you have to stick with that mm -hmm. industry you know there's something called transferable skills yeah. that you can take you the skills that you were good at in your previous career and take them to possibly another field and you know a lot I'm not gonna go into too much detail you can read about it on my website but uh, the, you know certain direct sales opportunities right. are available for women to you had in. some questions from yes. some of those this is, this is yes, a, a yes. clip this is this from is Laura Let's see what Laura has for you. Hi, I'm Laura, and I was just wondering, is it okay to tell employers I've been out of work for a few years because I had kids? That's a great Such question. Such a great question. And a, this, I have friends who struggle with that. Who yes. They think, well, is it a bad thing what to do say I that do? I have? What do I do? Because they're worried that people are going to be prejudiced against them, that they have little yes. ones at home and not want to hire yeah, you. Yeah, you're and not going to be as thing. flexible the, or work's not going to be yeah, your priority. Yeah. And yeah. the thing that, I mean, all of that aside, the thing that a lot of women are concerned about is the time gap in the resume where you have this five year eight year time gap where employers say well why were you you know why were you not employed and you're kind of scared to say oh well I had kids my advice is to say you know what yes I do have kids yeah. and I took some time off and I'm so excited to get back to work now and really focus your energy and make it clear that you really are ready to get back to work yeah. last time I checked you were not allowed to ask that question well that's true it's against the law it is it is illegal to okay. ask why or you took time off you can't no, 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 no. oh, ask it's know that. Illegal. it's illegal to ask about <gasps> child care <laughs> So here's the thing. If you sing, <laughs> yeah, if you can you, say I don't. I don't feel comfortable answering that. No, question. you can. You, you I can always, be a little polite about it. But yeah, they're not, they can't ask you that. It is illegal. And first of all, you got to ask. Okay, you know why is this employer asking about child care? And I always say redirect the question. You know, I would. I always say, you know, oh, thank you for your concern. I've got it all covered. I like to keep my family business at home and not bring yeah. it to work, and yeah. then it reinforces the yeah. fact that you're there to work. And they can't and even they ask you, are you gonna have oh. another child? They can't do that. Yeah. That's can't a, yeah. Let's, yeah. let's okay. find another, we have another question. Oh yes. Yeah, so from Chantal. Chantal. Hi, I'm Chantal, and I haven't done an interview in years, and I'm really nervous. Do you have any tips? Mm. Okay, an the interview. obvious tip. Dress to kill, but that, <laughs> especially with Orly and Debbie here, the fashion show. Yeah. But no, it, it, seriously, the tip that I have, especially for moms, is as ready as you are to return to work, your mindset is in a different place yeah. if you've been home with kids. So I always say when you schedule your interview or your lunch or your appointment or even a phone interview, you make sure those kids are away. You make sure they're out of the house, you make sure they're with a babysitter so that your entire brain can be wrapped around mm -hmm. what you need to talk about in that interview so you can focus and you're not worried about, oh my God, I, 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 gotta, I gotta pick up the kids in 15 minutes and this, you know, this guy's like, get the kids with a baby. Yeah, or even to hear them screaming in the background because yes. yeah. that creates a lot of stress. Yeah. It does. Yeah. All right, uh, one more question is from Kim. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name's Kim. I'd like to know, how can I make sure that my skills are competitive in today's market? Ooh. Oh! Yeah. How can I know. any 
everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing, and I do want to capitalize on this. I, you know, I mentioned the time gap in the resume. If there, any type of education that you have done in that time gap will make up for the lack of employment. So continue your education on some level. A lot of schools offer, you know, different programs that, you know, they allow alumni to come back and brush up their skills for, you know, minimal costs. You can research, you know, with your own alma mater for that. And um, another, uh, excuse me, another pointer is just go online. Again, there's resources now specifically no. tailored to women. Workingmother.com, momfair.com, workingmomslifestyle.com. I'm just listing off all of my favorites because there is support online and you can ask a manager.com you can go and ask specific questions that will help you specifically as a mother well there's support on our, our yeah. online oh, here you too. should see your face oh, listening I know, to I'm so yeah. excited. You so like <laughs> she's staring right into Jill's your eyes tips. Yeah. visit our website yeah. hallmarkchannel.com forward slash so home and family and you can follow Jill yeah. on yeah. Twitter at Jill Simonian or, we, or we could just say to Woody to bring yeah. your kids in let's yeah. ask yeah. what if we, we can bring it we should start a daycare center when we come back we have some more tips for you don't Go on.